Name Chase. In this very brief video, I want to take a look at a bug fix made to the emulation of Konami's Parodius arcade game in Maine. It was pointed out by regular stream guest and final rap fanatic Cow that the later levels in Parodius were missing a parallax scrolling effect, which until now nobody had pointed out. Parodius was first emulated in Maine in August of 1999, version 0.36 Beta 3, so this bug has existed for over 23 years and the game itself was only 9 years when it was first emulated. That means this game has been badly represented in emulation for over twice as long as the game existed prior to it being emulated. Ordinarily, a missing effect like this would point out an unemulated tilemap row score feature. However, the KO52109 tilemap emulation in Maine fully supports row scroll, but the game was not populating the RAM tables to use it. The other option, one employed by less capable hardware or hardware with no tilemaps, such as say the Neo Geo, would be a raster interrupt, having the CPU change scroll registers mid-frame. That also wasn't the case here, however. Hap, who was doing the detective work for this one, eventually traced the issue down to a more unexpected source, the CPU emulation itself. Herodius is one of a number of Konami games from the period using the Konami Custom CPU, which is a bespoke Motorola 6809 family CPU, more specifically one derived from the Hitachi 6309. The CPU was clearly designed to stop bootleggers, the opcode encoding has been heavily modified, and the CPU natively supports some new operations not found in the 6309 or any other CPU in the family. It was with those extra opcodes the bug was found, and fixed by HAP, allowing the Rose Gold data tables to be correctly populated. At the same time, a number of timing tweaks were made to attempt to bring the CPU speed close to that of the real device, which is why the videos you're seeing don't quite sync up perfectly either. The new emulation is faster in some places and slower in others. This fix will be in main 0.251 along with the timing fixes mentioned which help bring another Konami game close to the correct speed in escape kits. So be sure to check that one out too. Thanks to Hat for looking into this bug and fixing it, thanks to Cal for reporting it and thanks to you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one.